Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome back to another AWS This Week, where we usually find out what goodies AWS have in store for us from the past seven days. This week I'm going to change that slightly and I'm going to dive into the AWS blog to see what's happening there. It's a huge resource with enough content for its own episode, so let's check it out. It's AWS This Week with me, Nick Triantafilou. If you've never seen it before, the AWS blog has about 46 categories or formats that AWS employees and partners publish articles to. From AWS announcements, to features and walkthroughs of different services, to stories about how businesses have unlocked the true value of switching to the cloud. The articles come quickly, there's always a few per day and they're incredibly detailed and well written. Let's check out a few of them. In the networking and content delivery category, there's an excellent article on using AWS Lambda to enable static IP addresses for application load balancers by using both a network and application load balancer together. The blog tells you how to configure your account so you end up with a TCP listener on a network load balancer that accepts traffic, then forwards it into an internal application load balancer. The ALB terminates TLS, examines your HTTP headers, and routes requests based on your configured rules to your target groups with your instances, servers, or containers. And the Lambda function keeps it all in sync by watching the application load balancer for any IP address changes and automatically updates the network load balancer target group. This gives you the benefit of both the network load balancer and the application load balancer. I've got a link to the article below if you'd like to learn more. Next up in the AWS Compute category, there's a really interesting article about how to run massively multiplayer online games with EC2 Spot using Amazon Aurora serverless databases. It's a huge challenge for game developers to build cost-effective game servers that can scale depending on player demand. Not everyone plays at the same time, loads of people play after work at night and not many people play in the morning and so on, so they need to scale accordingly. The blog post walks you through how to achieve this with EC2 spot instances with the Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service and a GitOps based continuous delivery system. If any of these things interest you, I recommend you check it out as well. And finally, I'm just going to quick fire or list the AWS blog articles that have just been released in a 24 hour period, just to emphasize how much content is being released daily that you could be missing out on. All right, here are the articles. Automate document processing in logistics using AI. Amazon SageMaker notebook instances now support Amazon Linux 2. A decade of evolution at Lemongrass, SAP on AWS business continuity. Query SAP HANA using Athena federated query and join with data in your Amazon S3 data lake. Scaling Laravel jobs with AWS Batch and Amazon Event Bridge. Managing content delivery across multiple AWS Elemental media package origins. Speed up time series data ingestion by partitioning tables on Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL. Orchestrating and monitoring multi-channel messaging with Amazon Pinpoint. Two new Twitch trainings to help you grow your app building and machine learning skills. Using OPA to create AWS config rules. Field notes, three steps to port your containerized application to AWS Lambda. How open data from Weather Radar helps scientists improve environmental understanding. Secure multi-account model deployment with Amazon SageMaker. And unlocking the trillion dollar value of cloud. All right, that's a huge list and that's just the posts for one day. You could probably spend your whole day reading AWS blog posts and never run out of content. Okay, before I go, I'd just like to let you guys know that applications for the AWS Community Builders program are now open. If you've never heard of it before, the program offers technical resources, mentorship and networking opportunities to AWS enthusiasts and thought leaders who want to share knowledge and connect with the community. They're looking for eager people who share their knowledge about AWS with the community, whether it be blogs, running user groups, doing talks, posting on social media, and so on. 
Successful applicants also get a bunch of AWS credits and other helpful resources, and of course, some swag. I won't spoil it all, but it does involve a hat and a mug. I joined in the last round and it's a wonderful community to be a part of. If you're interested in learning more, there's a few links in the resources below, and I've also included a blog post from my colleague Stephen Sennett on how to apply. All right, that's all for me this week. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the blog. Thanks for watching, keeping awesome cloud gurus, and I'll see you next time.